Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm going to show you guys today how to code a website like this. Or if you would like a page like this. Or, yeah, or wait, wait. But I'm not going to go to that page. But we also have this one that's under development. And this video is going to be changed by the time you watch this video. This is just for books. And this is not published yet, so don't even try to go here. There will be a way to get here on here. Like, there will be another button. Go through there. So how we're going to do that, how we're going to start this, is so we go right here. We're going to copy this. Now, you can use whatever one you want. I'm going to use Notepad right now because I don't want to show you guys all my codes. Because I have Notepad++ open up right there. <clears throat> but then you're going to paste it. Now... This stuff right here, you can delete or keep. You might need it for in the future. Now, this is where your title goes. We're going to do a YouTube test. Now, and here's where your bodies go. You can do H1, H2, H3. H4, H5, and H6. Those are the ones I mainly know how to do. Then we're going to go... No, add that in. Then you take this. Now what we're going to, heading one, we're going to say on this one. So these are all the heading types. <coughs> then there is... P for paragraph. See? Paragraph. And then we're going to just type in the P. And that. Now we're going to click save as. So you have this as all files. We're going to save it to desktop. Now, um, You type in your name, the name you want the file to be, type in HTML, click enter, hide all that, now you open up this, and this is all our stuff. Now let's say you want it in the middle of the screen. Sorry, I'm going to close that. Okay, let's say you want it in the middle of the screen. Let's say... You want that... So you want the first three in the middle of the screen, and then you want the rest not in the middle of the screen. And you just save it. Back here, refresh. These three are in the middle of the screen. Those aren't. <laughs> so, um... Oh yeah, um, what I copied at the beginning... How does it go? This right here, like this coding right here. Um, this will be in the description of the video, so you guys can just copy it from there. <coughs> but also, make sure you put in what you want right there. Um, uh, let's okay. Let's say you want some spacing between these. Let's do this for a little 
spacing. And then for a lot of spacing, that. Oh, no. So once you do that, we're going to refresh. A little bit of spacing, a lot of bit of spacing. So, those are a few things. Oh, yeah. Also, if you would like to change the background color of your website, so this is blue, that was blue, and go on to this page, it's blue. So, how you're going to want to do that is... Sure, you don't want. Yeah, okay, I'll just open up Notepad again. Open up this. Now you're gonna want to type in body. Background. Boom. And I'm gonna do hashtag that. And once you do that, you do save as, desktop, all files, then style.css. Boom. Now, once you refresh this, should be gray, is what you need to make sure you do. Keep the style file saved in the same location as this so <coughs> let's say you have your website in a folder like let's make a folder real quick type out that and then drag these into here that's what you need to do because then it's gonna like be able to import it Just don't know that. And then also if you guys would like colors from this, I think I know one of the websites way off to tell you guys the link. Okay. <coughs> www.material.co. You're gonna want to put type in that. I'll put that in the description too. You can go to flat U colors. Let's get let's get this yellow. I've used that before on my website. You can go like this. Save. Boom. Go here. Oh, right. It's because I moved the file location. So we're gonna have to reopen that. Okay. Now, right. why don't you work? It should be changing the um, background. I don't know, but um, it should change the background from that. And <coughs> that's really how you code a simple website. Well. And make sure you have on this to make sure your background is changed. You have to have this right here. And if you guys would like to um, have some buttons in, well, if you would like to make a simple button, we could do this. H, href, then do href yeah, I mean a space href equals boom boom put your link in here it's the dirty I'm just gonna put the copy a link I'm gonna copy this one into here now we're going to do this, and then 
Wait. BRB. Okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an H five and then button. Just go like that. Save. Every time you guys refresh your website, make sure you click save. That's what we want. Um, okay, there. <coughs> Should be a button. I don't know, but I'm just going to delete that real quick. Another house, okay. Might be having a save as and then go in here YouTube test.html and to replace it, yes. Now it says button and I click on it and it'll take you to this. So that's a simple way you can make a button. Um, but that's really it, and sorry about that interruption, and, um, that, wait, okay, wait, okay, all this beginning code will start out well, over here, oh yeah, see, the yellow background's here, <laughs> how does that happen? I don't know, but, um, so this will be in the description of the video, and this will be in the description of the video for you guys to, like, get colors from this one, and to get the starting code from this one. <coughs> and make sure you guys keep this style, and, well, you can, but you might want to keep it, because for later in the future, you're going to need it a ton. And I'm going to show you what I mean by a ton. This is coding for just one of them. For one of mine. Oh, no, actually, wait, yeah, whatever. I already showed it. So you're going to do, like, the style, and then you have all this stuff in here. Then you have, like, that style. So, yeah, that's how you can, like, make headers and stuff. How I made my header and sidebar. Those are two different things. See, so yeah, I have a header right there. Okay. And you'll need the style thing for that. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on post notifications. And peace.